Mm. Welcome to Morning Code and Coffee on the first episode, uh, which is this one. Uh, we're going to be doing the traffic light exercise in React using hooks. Um, I didn't know where to start, so I figured I'd start in the middle. Nothing too like wildly complicated, assuming you already are familiar with uh, a little bit of JavaScript, React, JSX, all that. Um, and really, the whole point behind this channel is to, um, because I'm not an expert, but I know enough to be dangerous, um, is to learn with you. So as I make videos, if you have questions, I can answer them in the comments the best I can, or uh, make another video explaining better what was going on. Um, so just to get started, um, we have a Create React app right here. Uh, proof that it works and everything's wired up because all I did was delete basically the body of this app component. Um, so it says hi. Now, traffic light component. Um, you need three lights, if you will. Uh, we're going to not start there. What we can start with is just the box that everything's going to sit in. So uh, we have the app component, we have width of 250 pixels, height, oh, whoa, whoa. Welcome to having a Windows computer and the trackpad is super sensitive or number lock is not on, whichever one it is. 250 pixels and a height of 650. And I don't know why it fails to compile because it kind of gets ahead of itself. We'll just refresh. Still don't have anything, but let's see what we're working with here. All right, one pixel solid black. And this is definitely not the exciting stuff. Hey, look, we have a, a box. Let's change that to three. Darker and then yeah, that's just everything, isn't it? Text line doesn't matter anymore. Get rid of that. Um, or should we? Let's leave it. <laughs> and then we can come back over here. And now that we have our box, what are we going to put inside of it, right? What we're going to do is put lights. Now we're just going to render one. It's not yet defined. So we're going to go over here, make a new file, light.js, and basic stuff, import React from React. Uh, oh, nope, that'll be fine. All right. We have light component. Currently, I'm not passing in drops nothing to talk about quite yet. And we're going to return Ooh, SVG. No, not quite. <laughs> oh dear. Div. Close that off. And we have another one. And ooh, spaces. We don't need these. Cool. Now, we have to export it, obviously. Light. Uh, oops. All right, we have our light. Now, of course, a little zoom thing. Uh, to get a component to be used in other components, we're going to import light from, and lucky me, it auto-completes. Uh, still nothing, right? But to show that it's wired up, we can say hello, hi again. All right, so we know that's there. Now, um, we're going to have three lights. We're going to have, um, we're going to be using the map method. So we can define our colors, which is an array. You know what? I'm just going to copy this from my cheat sheet. Yes, I have a cheat sheet. 
just to make sure I don't forget anything because I don't have editing software. If you're watching this, it should be obvious because it's uncut video. Now, we have our colors. We can map over them to create a new array, which would just basically return a bunch of lights, right? Um, so in here, let's get rid of this. Actually, you know what? Let's go over here and just say light so we know what's going on. Now, we're going to map over colors, right? Dot map. And I'm going to say color. Oh my God, what am I doing? Color. And on the other side of that, arrow function. And we're going to return if yeah. we're going to turn some stuff. Um, oh, right. We're not returning div, returning light. I'm going to have to edit this. Like I said, not a professional or expert. Uh, oh, look at that. Over here, we have our three lights based on red, yellow, green. We have three items in the array, which means we're going to return three light components. Now, that's not much of a traffic light. So what we're going to do is into here, into this mapped over light component, we're going to uh, give it a prop. And I like using the same Right, so they're passing in the, the prop name color. And we're going to pass in the color. And then to access that, we're going to move over here. And I'm going to destructure it right away. We have our prop color. And then do that. Color. And now we have the text. Cool. Um, give it a class name. So go over here, just steal it. Let's steal it from the cheat sheet. Save ourselves some time, right? We have a height, uh, width, border, border radius. 50% gives makes it round. Uh, margin auto to kind of center it, and then uh, margin top. Seven or seven pixels, and I think that just gave it space. And class name of light. And I think maybe just refresh. Yeah. Okay. So it's hard to tell if those are perfect circles, and it doesn't really matter, does it? But here uh, we have our basic traffic light, right? We don't want to render the text of the color. We want to render the color in the circle. And one way to do it, style equals uh, curly braces, but you're passing in an object. Round color in this camel case, because we're working in JSX. And we can set it to the color that's passed in from props, right? Hey, look at that. But they're all lit up at the same time. So what? is next. What should I do next? We don't need that yet. All right, let's just do the uh, ternary. <clears throat> oh, actually, yeah, we need to do that. So let's move back over here. We're going to import React from React, but and I guess we don't need to do this because everything's already working. So you don't need to import React. But what we do need, we need to pull use state out of React. Now, const. Uh, and I like to go with, for this exercise, lit. And then the method to change things later would be is or set lit equals use state and we're going to initialize it with the string red 
And then pass that down as a prop. Right. So the prop name lit, we're passing in uh, the piece of state, which is lit. I know it, it's confusing. That's how I prefer to do it, but it, you can call it whatever you want. Now that that's prop, we can pull that out. Lit. So what do we want to do? We want to compare the color that's assigned to each one of these circles to this piece of state, right? Uh, color triple equals lit question mark. So if it is, if those two equal each other, set it as color or um, Look at that. So now we have, because on the app side of things, in this component, uh, we initialized it with red. So lit is immediately equal to red. And we passed red down as props. And for this one component, because when we mapped over it, we're returning three. The color for this first one is red. Now, to change these things, we can do an on click. The on click, uh, we're gonna find it. Um, set lit, oop, no. <laughs> set lit to color. But we haven't passed down set lit through the props yet, right? So this will work. I promise I save that so it brings itself together. And then we have set lit here and to pass it down because I'm a psycho, I'm gonna call it the exact same thing. Set lit is set lit. And this is how you can pass down methods into uh, your various components, right? So set lit is not defined on the light component. Right, because I haven't pulled it through. Boom, okay, now, moment of truth. Ha ha. So as you can see, it works, and I'm really glad it does because currently a little embarrassed with all the mumbling, mumbling, but we made it through. Um, we have our on click, um, finding that if you don't do this, it's gonna automatically fire and throw an error maybe. Nope, it just goes to the bottom. Okay, <laughs> I guess it's the last uh, component rendered. So it, oh, right, yeah, it would change state. So I guess in a blink of an eye, it went from red to yellow to green. We didn't see that, um, but putting that little bit right there binds it. So uh, it doesn't fire automatically. And here we go. We have a functioning light component using hooks. Um, I've heard that some companies use this in their interviews. Um, there are plenty of other things. I did one interview where it was, what do you call it, like cow and a fence. So like I was told to define a box and then in that box, another smaller box and then using the arrow keys, have it move around, but never go outside of that bigger box. Um, that was not using hooks, but uh, yeah, this is one of those interview questions that you might come across, and I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, please comments section down below. Um, it was kind of haphazard, not used to talking about code on camera. So yeah, that and no software to edit the video. <laughs> Maybe in the future, uh, we can make cleaner video uh, with some software, some editing. But currently, hey, look, it works. I'm happy, and I hope you learned something. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.